do you hodl Bitcoin? Because if you do, then you will want to see this video. Today, we are updating you guys on our crypto dividends portfolio. What are crypto dividends? Basically, we're getting paid just to hodl some Bitcoin. And we are raising the stakes this month in March and depositing a full Bitcoin onto BlockFi to potentially make over $250 this month just to hodl. Confused? Let me explain. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to put it all together and take you to that next level. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. If you guys have been here before, make sure to hit that like button as it helps us to continue to spread this knowledge and adoption of cryptocurrencies. So today we're talking crypto dividends and how you guys can, if you're already hodling Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin, how you can make some extra profits, passive income just for hodling on BlockFi. If you guys are not on BlockFi yet, make sure to click the link in the description. And if you use our referral link, you can get up to $250 bonus when you make your first initial deposit. Also, make sure to check out our previous BlockFi. It's a beginner's tutorial. And we also have a full BlockFi review for you guys that you can check. We will link all of those as well. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into BlockFi, guys. So the first thing is, let's take a look at what happened last month. So remember last month, we did our deposit in Ethereum. Ethereum. So let's go ahead and click on Ethereum. We deposited five Ethereum into this BlockFi account. You know, we already had the 0.15. The rest of that was already in there. Uh, we deposited five more Ethereum into this account, uh, which total is around $8,000 more or less. So you see that the total interest paid uh, last month seems like it was around $27. Let's see right here. So to be exact, the total interest paid was 0.0174. So let's go ahead and take this number and see what exactly we made in interest for the month of February. So to do that, we're going to uh, Bitcoin, we're going to search Bitcoin price, we're going to switch this this to ether and we're going to put in the amount that comes out to about what twenty six dollars yeah so about twenty six eighty eight more or less what it says here that it paid out right so it says so we had the twenty six eighty eight plus we had some previous interest in there from the month before when we only had the point one five so in total, that gives us $27 that we've made passively in interest overall, basically last month, right? In Bitcoin, we've had this in since January as well, and we've done about $21 overall. So you'll see that total interest paid in basically two months, we've done about $48.47. And so far in March, which just started today, we've accrued $1.54, right? For a total balance of uh, 10603 So now what we're going to do today is since today is the first of the month, we wanted to make this deposit on the first. So today we're going to do a new deposit in the Bitcoin, because as you guys see, Bitcoin makes 6% APY, Bitcoin does 5.25% APY. And then if you go down to uh, Litecoin, Litecoin actually makes the most, which is 6.5% APY. So this is actually a new update. They just added this. Litecoin is now the top earning coin, I believe, other than the uh, stable coins, right? So uh, stable coins give you a return of 8.6%. Litecoin gives you is the second best return at 6.5% then is Bitcoin at 6% and Ethereum at 5.25. So we, we're probably go, we'll probably add Litecoin at a later date. Uh, today, we're gonna go ahead and add Bitcoin. I wanna add some more funds in here and see what we can do. I wanna add a full Bitcoin in here and see what kind of returns we can get on one full Bitcoin on BlockFi. 
All right, so the first thing that we have to do, we have to get this, uh, the deposit address where we're going to be making the deposit. So we're gonna go ahead and hit deposit on Bitcoin. Now here we got the address, we're gonna copy it and we're good to go here. Next, we have to go to the, where we're going to be sending the money from. So in this case, we are sending the money from where we trade, which is on Bybit. So on Bybit, if you go to the top right corner and click on my assets and then click on add wallet we're going to be adding a wallet because as you guys can see we don't have a blockfi wallet on here so we have our gemini wallets we have a crypto wallet now we're going to go ahead and add a uh the blockfi wallet so we're going to go ahead and make sure that bitcoin is selected then for address we're going to paste the address that we just copied and like always, you want to make sure that the address is correct. So it ends with E9OM. Um, let's see, deposit E9OM. And it starts with 3DI2, 3DI2. So we're good. And then we're going to name this block phi and confirm. Of course, we have to do the authentication. Going to hit confirm and it is now successfully been added it's successfully been added. all right so now we're going to go back to our bitcoin our bybit wallet and we're going to hit withdraw once at withdraw we're going to go ahead and select which wallet we want to withdraw to and we're going to select the amount of bitcoin that we want to withdraw for this video we're doing one full bitcoin is what we want to withdraw as you guys see here that bybit only processes withdrawals three times a day so i know that for my time uh they do a withdrawal at 7 p.m so we're gonna go ahead and set up this this withdraw now and then update you guys once that's done after 7 p.m so once you're ready you have your address in and the amount that you would like you could just go ahead and hit submit and again you have to of course do the google authentication here to be safe and the withdrawal has been submit and of course when when you make the withdrawal you get an email verification where you have to verify it so make sure to go ahead and verify that all right, so I just hit uh, verify and uh, now I basically just got to wait for the money to be transferred over. Like I told you guys, it will be transferred over in about an hour and a half. So once that transfer is completed, I will update you guys with, with that transfer. And then we'll be able to see together in a month from now what type of money we're able to uh, make on interest with a full Bitcoin. All right, guys, so while we're waiting for that deposit to go through, make sure if you guys are enjoying this video to like the video, guys. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. We post videos five times a week, Monday through Friday. We cover everything from uh, price analysis to uh, giving you guys trade setups, tutorials and different ideas, you know, and we also do live streams on Wednesdays. So make sure to hit that sub guys, make sure to hit the like button as well. Alrighty guys, so it looks like the transaction finally went through. It did go through at seven. I just wasn't able to update it till now, but the one BTC did go through and, and it went through pretty fast. So now you can see uh, we have a total Bitcoin balance of 1.05. And yeah, we're going to be earning 6%. So remember, it's 6% per year. So then you divide that 6% by 12. So let's go ahead and pull up a calculator. So just to keep it simple, let's go ahead and do 50,000 times 6% equals so it'll be around $3,000 more or less. Remember, this gets compounded, so we're not taking that into uh, consideration yet. But just to get an idea and assuming that Bitcoin stays at this price for the rest of the year, it will be about $3,000 extra that I will make. And then if you divide it by 12 months, that comes out to about $250 a month that you will be making just holding one Bitcoin here. So if you had two Bitcoin, you could be making around $500 a month, basically. So BlockFi also has a, it's little, it's own calculator here, as you guys can see. But again, it's not a compound interest calculator. So it just gives you more or less 
basically a price what you would make on average over the next 10 years but it's not really compounding the way that it's supposed to so we're gonna pull up this count compound interest calculator here we're gonna put our initial deposit is fifty thousand. um we're gonna put no monthly contributions and then we're just gonna leave that there for now and then we're gonna put a nine percent estimated rate of return compounded monthly so here you can see you know, if we put 10 years compared to the, this one says uh, you would have basically $40,000. Here you can see that it actually compounds it monthly and you would have here $122,000 in, you know, the time span of 10 years. But there's always a but. This is obviously assuming that Bitcoin never goes up or down. So it's assuming that Bitcoin just stays at 50000 and that's it. So if we look at Bitcoin's return over the last 10 years, its annualized return percentage, it was basically 295%. So let's take that 95% off and just put the estimated rate of return. Is that even 200 is a lot. So let's put the average return would be 100%, right? Over 10 years, that would mean that our $50,000 would turn into $6 million. So obviously, I don't think at the current prices, we're going to have a 200% rate of return at this point. It's currently at 50. Let's put it at 25. So even at 25% rate of return over the next 10 years would turn your money basically into half a million dollars. So you see that there's a lot of potential here. But yeah, I'm just playing around with numbers and predictions and all that. You know, none of us really know what Bitcoin's going to do in the next five to 10 years. So it's hard to really predict that number. Now, what we can predict, the only thing that we can predict for certain is this 6% APY. And even then, you can't really predict it because remember, they they change these numbers all the time. Also, once you get over two and a half Bitcoins, this return changes to 3%, I believe. Yeah, so here we go. So if we look at this tier one is zero to 2.5, you get 6% return. Once you get over 2.5 Bitcoin, then you get only a 3% return. So basically, it's not worth having more than two and a half Bitcoins on here. Because if you put, if you had a two and a half, if you had three Bitcoins on here, um, let's say $150,000, you would be making 3% on it. So times 3%, you'd be making $4,500, right? It makes more sense to just keep, you know, even with one Bitcoin, one Bitcoin times 6%, you're making almost the same amount, right? And uh, let's say if you have two Bitcoins, if they're at, at 6%, you'd be making $6,000. So two Bitcoins is gonna make you a bigger return than three Bitcoins or anything over two and a half, right? Obviously, if you get to the bigger numbers, let's say you had 10 Bitcoins or you had a million dollars in Bitcoin, you know, then we're talking uh, times 3%, then the numbers make more sense because now you're making $30,000 return. So that's why they kind of did that because for the bigger players that have a lot more uh, money, you know, if you, once you get into those big numbers, 10 million times 3%, you're talking about you're making three hundred thousand dollars a year return just by holding your bitcoin in blockfi so i understand why they they did a second tier but if you're not anywhere near these numbers those numbers there then i wouldn't do it because just holding two bitcoin is going to make you a bigger return than if you hold you know three bitcoins so unless you're going to be doing over i would say probably five bitcoin or somewhere around that 300 to three fifty thousand dollars in Higher, I wouldn't even put all of it. I would just keep it under two and a half percent. I mean, under under two and a half bitcoins. So, because if you get to like three twenty five thousand times three percent, at that point you're getting to that ten thousand. So now you're above it. So you know, at that point it's fine. But um, until you get past that six thousand dollar return, it's just not worth having you know three bitcoin on there you're going to be making less four bitcoins then you'll be doing what you're doing with two bitcoins right so this is the same return 
with four bitcoins in there it's the same return as having you know two bitcoins in there so maybe five bitcoins might be that number so once you get to five bitcoin at three percent then you're making 7500 back you know and it only it only goes up from there so maybe five and up then it's fine to get in there but if you have less than five i wouldn't put it all in there i would keep you know keep it at two bitcoins max so what we will do we will test out the two bitcoins thing we're going to start with one bitcoin for now and then see how it goes for a few months and eventually deposit a, a second bitcoin and then we'll play with it and then you know as time goes by we'll maybe we'll even try the up to five or more bitcoin for you guys to see how that works out just kind of making money as we're just just for holding Bitcoin. So making an extra 6%, extra 3%. And the other thing that we want to do as well, probably we'll do it on the next update of BlockFi is play around with Litecoin. So Litecoin, you guys can see here, returns the biggest amount for crypto. So Litecoin's return is 6.5%. And there doesn't seem to be a limit. So we could put $150,000, which, you know, with Bitcoin, if you put $150,000 in Bitcoin, you would only get 3%. But if you put $150,000 with Litecoin, you're still getting that 6.5%. And you're making almost $10,000 at that point yearly. So that might be an idea that we play with. So that's basically what we're looking at here uh today we just want to look at the different options for you guys so to recap the video last month we put in uh five ethereum in here and we got total interest pay of about 26 dollars. and then for this month we're starting with one bitcoin we just put one bitcoin in here yesterday so far to date we've made 20 dollars return you know with very minimal amount of bitcoin in there so we're gonna play we're gonna leave one bitcoin in here for a full month and see what type of returns we get over that month we were expecting to get somewhere around 250 dollars this month uh return but we will see what happens because obviously there's a lot of variables including what bitcoin's price does over the month so that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to give you guys an update on our block five position and what we're doing with it you know we're going to continue to play around with it and give you guys uh different ideas and how to best use BlockFi and uh make the most out of whatever crypto you're currently holding if you're not registered with BlockFi yet make sure to register uh we will drop a link in the description you guys can use that link to register so just go ahead and click the link in the description you can get up to 250 dollar bonus on BlockFi by using our referral link i will also link it in the comments Comment section so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions make sure to drop it in the comments if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button make sure to also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and turn on that notification bell that's pretty much it for us guys i will see you on tomorrow's video as always peace and love